three veterans already in with the two, the two younger, smaller guys. Said passes all the way inside, and there's that guy. He slides to the basket, able to create space dun sa, dahil sa ginagamit yung malaking uh, physique niya. Marshall kicks it out to Blatch. Blatch will attack from the right side. He's got an open lane to the basket. He jams it home! Plus a foul. And he, uh, he was being de defended by a smaller guy. And he did not settle for a jump shot and took it strong. Wow. And you can hear the crowd already. You know, ecstatic. It's very important for them to really set an aggressive tone in this game. Not leaving anything to chance. But another penetration here for Qatar. The veteran uh, Khalid Abdi able to get that basket inside. Dre Blatch, six to shoot. They got to go quickly. Eto na si Castro. Had to force it up. Gets it to go. Jason Castro manufacturing that shot under duress. And with the shot clock winding down. Nasara doon ang baseline. Kitira na ng tres. Pasok yan para kay Jason Castro William. And nakita niya kasi nagkaroon ng mismatch. No? They had a taller defender against him. And Lamang ang gilas ng dalawa. Eight to six. Fauda will take the three-pointer and get it. They go to Abdi, Sami Kaliwa, attacking na naman siya. Hook shot on the way! Once again, it's those flare screens that are hurting uh, our defense. There's the kick. There's Marshall. At yun yung resulta na hinahanap ni Coach Richard. He gets his first three. You know, that was just a great swing pass coming from Andre Blotch. Because Marshall's man had to help on that. Castro, nakita yung opening. Diretso sa basket. Pasok na naman for Jason Castro. He's got seven points in this game. That's just veteran sparks coming from Jason Castro. So, a wide open driving lane. Late help defense from Qatar. Provides some energy dito. Great defense by Gilas Pilipinas. And nakuha na rin finally yung bola. Dre Blatch nagdadala once again. Kicks it to the corner. Back to Blatch inside. Easy layup for the big man. He's got two. And that's the Blatch that we'd love to see dominating inside. That's the value because he was able to defend on the other end. They brought in uh, number 96, he, uh, Abdel Halim. And they go inside. Side missed it, but he got it right back. Now with Troy. Outside to Paul. Decides to take it from up there. There you go. That's a three from Paul Lee. A good sign para sa ating team Pilipinas that our outside shots are falling. We had one from Jason Castro. We had one from Marshall Lasseter. And now from Paul Lee. They're naturalizing. Yes, marami. Sarabi nga natin. Tatlong boss niyan. Tapos may isang taga Senegal pa. Block upstairs mula kay Andre Blatz. Get out of here. And although it is not his house, he's making it look like it is. And, and you know, he's just, uh, you know, a big presence on both ends of the floor. El Hadari. Three seconds na lang sa kanilang shot clock. Bumato ng tres si El Hadari and he gets it to go. Guys guarding the screener needs to get up a little bit higher on the guards. Looking for some offense here at the blue shirts. Underneath, Troy Rosario. Nice find. Pumormang titira si Poli. Binantayan talaga ng kalaban. Alam nila na kaya niya tumira from out there. Now it's Barocas turn and he contributes a three of his own. Eram kicks it out. Marshall's free for three. And that's the result that we love to see. Pangalawang tres na. And you just have, have to love the respect of Jason Castro for Marshall last. Three seconds to shoot. Magmamadali na si Saeed. The hook. <laughs> Kaya ako nga nabanggit eh, di ba? Pasa mo na yung talento mo doon. Abdi from outside. Jumper goes. <laughs> wow, that was a tough shot. Aguilas Filipinas uh, trying to pull away in the second period. Norwood, Aguilar, and Paul Lee. Scotty will kick it out to Paul Lee. Nice setup for three. Paul able to deliver immediately a quick three from Gilas Pilipinas. A miss from Fauda from three point land. He's got a bunch. And Paul Lee, another one. Mula sa kanto naman ngayon. Back to back threes for Paul Lee. He was trying to attack on every opportunity. Now he's recognizing the talent of his teammates. Sat pa yung tira na yun. Got it off the glass. At sabi naman ni Blatz, ako naman. Sa naman ngayon ang nakatres. Labas yung play na yun dahil masama yung forma ng tira eh. Blatz back to back. Two from Paul Lee, two from Andre Blatz. And just like that, 20 na, dumoble na kalamangan ng Gilas Pilipinas dito sa third period. It's really pleasing to the eye para sa atin na makita na uhulog yung mga three-pointer na yan. Really a perfect start para sa ating team Pilipinas. Everybody is on target. Gusto pumunta kay Japet. He's done that many times back to that. For that angle, here's Japet trying to go baseline. Strong move from Japet Aguilar. Nakuha niya yun, completing it. Didn't jam it the way everyone wanted him to, but two points nonetheless and a chance for a three-point play. Blatch says, I'll take it again. And there you go, pangatlong tres na. 
Well, you know, we're trying to develop his confidence, really. Because, you know, even college, he was more concerned about assists. And Japet Aguilar, once again, sending it back home. Through the third period. Eto na naman. Nice timing there. Clean block by Japet Aguilar. Nahanap si Japet. Take the jumper. Inside to Lee. Flips it up off the glass. And... Now, you know, we like our chances with under four minutes remaining here in the third. Sana nga masustain natin itong ganitong lamang. That's why, you know, you'll be... There's another outside shot. Zapit Aguilar knocking it down. Mula sa labas ng arco. And <laughs> Qatar is now thinking, ano ba nangyari sa mga... So, you know, that's, that's the game of basketball. Nakakatawa minsan, pero mapapailing ka na lang uh, on, on, on other days. That's a rebound a while ago and a jam on this end. Now, Gabe! With the stuff on the fast break at the game. Nakisama din a nice lead pass from Dre Blatz. Looking for his teammates. At ang ganda naman ng perfect team up na yan. And you can see how frustrated Qatar is because they cannot get anything offensively. Even their energy going down the floor, napektado na rin. They kick it out, swing to the corner. Muslic will hook. Whoa. Oh, he gets it off the glass. What a shot. Bula rito sa numero 5. Wala na yun. Talagang binato na lang niya. Oh, he wasn't even looking at the basket. Uh, Morocco's gonna have to take this one. Again, nice fake. And we're gonna call a foul. We're gonna get enjoy to yung Ben Shepard. You know, it's, it's been a long time since we've uh, been up by this kind of... Uh, oh, that's, that's right. Qatar struggling to score. Ocho puntos pa lamang dito sa third period. Now it's with Saeed. Nice fake, but he's yes. swatted away. You got shot blockers in there. Dre Blatch has a block already. Japet F2, that's Poy Eram adding another one. A chance to rest. Sating bench with time here in the third quarter and another <laughs> block. 31 big points. That's what they scored in the uh, entire first half. Goes over to Paul Lee. Five to shoot. Paul crossing over the defense. What Layup is great <laughs> para rito kay Pauli. Ang ganda naman ng galaw na yun. Oo, oh, oh, talagang uh, naiwan yung defender niya on that crossover. Already on the bench, probably won't get back into the ball game. Nice setup for Bla uh, for uh, Marshall as Blatch spotted his teammate. To, to uh, get those shots in. Well, he wanted to return the favor. Oh. See, oh, there's the follow-up jump. Yun yung inaantayin natin yeah. from Troy Rosayukov. That's what he loves to do. Just crash the offensive boards. and So it's going to be tough. Uh, plus, you know, a lot of factors para sa Giles Pilipinas. You mentioned the travel. Trying not to be known for establishing records for lowest scores here in the FIBA qualifiers. Ito naman Pilipinas. Humihiri pa rin. Nakabato pa ng tres si Jason Castro William in that first quarter. Yung medyo nagsistruggle pa yung Pilipinas sa open size. Sila talaga yung nagkarga. And then, the rest of the guys participated later on. That's another trifecta mula kay Marshall Lafiter. Nakakailan na rin ito. 404 from three-point land. You know, so itong Japan at saka Iran, you know, they're at There you go! Yun ang inaantay kanina pa. Nakadakdak na rin si Javit Aguilar. Nice reverse on the entry pass. He slammed it home. Wala na. Nakatayo na yung mga defenders dito ng Qatar. You know, just waiting for this game to end. So this guy can really still get up there. Probably, you know, Australia will win that game. That's why it's very crucial also to win in Kazakhstan. That's right. That's why it's so big. He has that shot. He's not going to win. He's going to win. And look at Coach Yang Yao's reaction. And that's as much of a reaction as you're going to get from Coach Yang Yao. What a fast break. And we've hardly seen any fast breaks from him. And 30 Ravenna. Oh, he's staring down. Oh, okay. Easy, easy 30. Relax. Parang may... Oh, yun, utak, he got all talon. ball. He got all ball upstairs. Grabe yung talon dito ni Pero dito, dito ni sa Mexico, nagka, nagkatamaan eh. Pero fataas bola talaga, you know? There you go. They were trying to go alley-oop. Mukhang nasaktan pa. Si 30. Pinamahan pa yata sa mukha. Doon sa lab na yun. Ayun, nahawakan pa eh. Oh, Itong yeah. si, you know, Muchkic. Got him right in the face and... Apparently, the referees didn't see that. So we're dragging here the last minute and a half ng ating laban. Imbes na magbaser na rito, may mga pisikalan pa na nangyayari. Coach Yang, not pleased with what's going on, but he just uh, gestures to the crowd. Then nag-react naman, no? And uh, showing so oh, much appreciation is going down the bench. Is mukhang, he, mukhang out siya. Is Yun he na thrown nga. out? So, Team Pilipinas taking care of business here for the first game of... Uh, a sixth window. In jubilation.
mula sa mga fans ng Gilas Pilipinas na nandyan sa loob ng uh, Alcafara Sports Club Multipurpose Hall as well as the fans watching here on ESPN 5.